Amit Shah, who's decided to pay a visit to both Lal Krishna Advani and Murli Manohar Joshi right before he goes in to release the BJP manifesto for this election. We've got Akhilesh Sharma on the phone line for more on this. Akhilesh, Murli Manohar Joshi did not get a ticket and Lal Krishna Advani, on the other hand, has written a stinging blog against the current working of the BJP. Is this a last-ditch attempt to try and get them on board? It looks like uh, a last uh, time, a last uh, ditch effort by the BJP president to, you know, take them on board because uh, BJP feels that at, at this sensitive time, uh, uh, the, the angerness of both these leaders, senior leaders of the party, can actually damage the prospects of the party because it has already given talking point to the opposition parties. We have seen Congress President Rahul Gandhi attacking the BJP on the issue of uh, denial of tickets to LK Advani and Muli Manohar Joshi. So BJP, of course, does not want to take any chances. LK Advani has already written a blog that has given enough talking points to the opposition leaders uh, where he has mentioned that BJP never treated the rivals, uh, political rivals as adversaries, not the enemies. So that is why the BJP does not want to take any chances. Although the BJP sources are saying that it's a routine procedure that whenever the party's manifesto is released, uh, the party president always goes and meets the senior leader. But uh, it seems uh, more like an attempt uh, by the BJP president to, you know, specify these two okay. things. All right, Akhilesh, thank you so much for bringing us the details. Uh, so that's happening at just about 10 o'clock this morning. At 11 o'clock is when the BJP releases its party manifesto.